the department. My name is Julesi Luna. We have the accounting, um, the manager of account receivable and payable, Brandy. At first, she, she couldn't be in this presentation. We have the manager of payroll, which is Stella. We have the manager of inventory, Thorelli. Thorelli, she couldn't be here present. And the manager of finance reporting, uh, Jennifer. She couldn't be here in the presentation. Our mission of the, the uh, content department <coughs> is basically to overview all the finance, uh, finance aspect of the uh, hotel. We manage uh, inventory, anything that we have to do with the money, and how to make the um, restaurant more profitable in that aspect. Um, no, no, we need to present. No, we need that already, so we're going to focus on the last two. Uh, so we are now going to go to the room analysis of the accounting department. We are going to summarize a four-week period of the uh, hotel, and we're going to present some data to improve um, sales. So this is the first week of April. Um, again, our hotel is a 200-bedroom uh, hotel, and this is the overview of the first week, and the percentage of uh, occupancy based on the, each day. We do the same thing in the second week. The difference we see in the third week versus the other two weeks is this is the Easter weekend. So we see a lot more standard room being sold because a lot of families are coming into town and renting those rooms. Uh, and the summary page, we see the overview. Um, this is the four week. And you can see that the percentage of the standard is always going to be higher. Again, it's more popular, it's more budget friendly, so it's more attractive to a lot of buyers. And the four, um, in this fourth last slide, we're going to see the overview of the four um, weeks, and we are going to see how to increase in possible, um, possible in income possibilities of the room. Sorry. So um, in this slide, we're going to see if we, we are trying to uh, put a scenario of if we increase it by 2.25% um, or if we increase it by 5%, which is not in the presentation, sorry. So uh, we're trying to determine uh, where our money will be if we have a scenario to increase it. In the next slide, we're going to talk about what we're going to do to try to increase it to the 2 or to the 5%. So what we did is we assigned a value to each one of the rooms uh, mm -hmm. to determine. There is three important uh, metrics in hotels. The first one is occupancy, number of rooms sold over total number of rooms, uh, average daily rate. So because you have standard suites, and the look suites, your rate can be higher depending on the number of, uh, or the type of room you sell every day, and then the revenue per available room. So in this case, with a 76%, the, the uh, average daily price is $325, and the per, uh, per the, revenue, the revenue generated by each room is $243. So we have two proposals for the sales and the marketing department. The first one is focus on selling more events. Events allow you to uh, lock rates for groups at a reduced price, but because your supply is now less, because you have those rooms locked, now we're going to increase the price on the remaining number of rooms. And the next one is just to come up with a plan that allows us to sell more suites and more deluxe, which have a uh, better uh, sale rate for the weekends. And our suggestion is to develop plans for the weekends with reduced rates that include additional items like breakfast and movie tickets for kids. That's basically it. Yeah, another proposal we are working on is trying to um, extend it. So if people book more rooms, like during a slow seasons, uh, they will be giving a better discount rate versus if they only book it for one or two nights. So that we are working on the process. We're trying to determine what will be the best um, time on the year to promote that. 
before we then make it something progressive. Any questions? Okay, guys, good job. Very good job. Good analysis. Excellent. Thank you very much.